she is loading information loading <gasps> Hey everyone, welcome back to my video. I've been wanting to do something for the longest time already with one of my dogs, it's Misty. Misty, right here, say hi to everyone. She's a little excited right now. Oh. Oh. I don't know if you can hear me, she loves it when I sit down and get down to her level. She gets super excited, ow! Oh. Misty! Sit, she's right here. We'll just be calm here, okay? Goodness gracious with you. I've been gone all morning. We went to go watch Sing 2. It's such a good movie, oh my gosh. I loved it, I went with the kids. Okay, a good way to get your overreactive dog off of you is to just turn your back away from them and just be boring. So I've been wanting to do something for the longest time with Misty. I was actually going to buy it yesterday, but I didn't get the chance to. And today I went to Ross and I found it for cheap too. It was on clearance. I've never heard of this brand, but basically it is. <gasps> A DNA test on dog breed. I got it for $25. What? This says that it's a very easy, just swab the cheek kind of test. That's why I have her in here so that I can test her and see what breed she is. When I got her, the breeder is actually my neighbors. They bred one of their dogs. I never got to meet her parents, but they told me that she was a purebred Rottweiler. She looked like one when she was younger, but then as she grew up, she started to get like a pointier snout and then her markings started to look more like a German Shepherd. I was just curious just to see what she really is so I've been wanting to get this just so that I can have those results for her and so that when people ask me what she is I have percentages I actually did a DNA test on myself too if you're curious to know this is what I am so let's go ahead and open this bad boy up it says activate, swab cheek, seal, and then mail it in. It's pretty simple, straightforward. Oh, it's just like a little envelope in here. Okay, that's it. Well, it was sealed. Right now, Ross is having a clearance. They're trying to clear out all of their inventory to bring in new inventory. I also found this Paw Nav navigation. I got it for $5.50 and it's just like a little a tracker to know where your dog is. She escapes all the time. I mean, she doesn't run away or anything, but I got it for her just so that she could have it. I also found one of these. I'm always on the lookout for these kinds of toys for my dogs to like mental enrichment. Let's get to the video. It says, discover this easy at home dog DNA test determines every breed in your dog. Let's see. Results in two weeks. No, I'm gonna have to wait two weeks. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. It's four o'clock. The post office is still open and do this real quick And then in two weeks, I'm gonna go ahead and check back in with you guys for the results Percentage of every breed in your dog plus much much more. We'll see easy and painless dog DNA cheek swab kit it Says they're from Canada. I'm in the US. So we'll see how that works maybe that's why it's two weeks I don't know since we've gotten her as she was growing and we started to see more of her features her colors her markings started to change as well we were wondering what she really was or what she had in her only because Rottweilers and German Shepherds are such a different type of personality so it's always helpful to know what breed your dog is so that you can know how to like train and what works best for that breed what kind of physical needs and mental stimulation and all that because German Shepherds are much more high maintenance in terms of mental stimulation. I know that Misty out of all of our three dogs, Lincoln, our Cane Corso, and Nixie, our Doberman, she is the more troublemaker, will dig holes if I'm not on top of it with her training and keeping her entertained. So the contents in here is a envelope, another envelope, and instructions on what to do a little swab wait so where do i put it in they have the app i know the rottweiler uh, their descendants are the saint bernards that's why some of them have the little white patch on their chest i just read the instructions and i have to let it dry for 25 minutes before sealing the envelope i hope i can make it in time for our post office but we'll see it's pretty simple they provide two cheek swabs and i'm supposed to swab it in between her gums and cheeks 
circular motion for 20 seconds one swab per side and then just stick it in the envelope it says it is shelf stable for several months without refrigeration so that's good misty come here okay let's do the first cheek that's it yes so it's just a regular swab hold on let's do the right my right side come here hold on one two three thirteen fourteen twenty good girl here we go put it in the envelope now let's do the other side You're not done yet one more good girl oh one two all right so here we go it did so good her saliva her cheeks cells to dry before sealing it and then i can mail it i'm gonna go ahead and mail this in two weeks later it is january 26th so it's been two weeks since i sent out the dog DNA. I haven't checked. They don't send a letter. I have to look it up on your phone. I'm like excited, a little bit nervous. Normally they have the embark DNA test, dog test, but I've never seen this one. And it's in Canada, so hopefully it arrived and I did it right. I followed the instructions. So this is gonna be my raw first reaction. Here it goes. Ready, drum roll. And she is analyzing, getting counts. Misty is a, my heart's pounding, loading information, oh my god, oh my god, what is she? Oh, processing sample, it's still processing. <gasps> no. <sighs> Man, results in just two weeks. It's been two weeks already. So this was an update. Got my heart pounding for nothing. I'll check back in another week. Thousands of tears later. This is the following week. It's already been about a month, so hopefully, fingers crossed, the package didn't get lost in the mail and the results are in this time. Let's find out together. <gasps> so here goes. Dog DNA. Getting counts, initializing data. What is my dog? Let's check status. She is loading information, loading. <gasps> what? Oh my god! So she's a raw riler, 40 to 60 percent. German Shepherd dog. I knew, I knew she had German Shepherd in her. 26 to 39 percent. And they said she has some boxer in her. I don't know. Oh my god! So it's concluded. She is half German Shepherd and half raw riler. We can say that. We can say half and half because these results they give you a range it seems like she has more rottweiler in her than all the other breeds i mean that's crazy that's oh my god ah! we found out what breed misty is finally okay so that changes nothing <laughs> all right so there you have it we figured it out this was so much fun even though it did take a long time to get the results i did read some other reviews on this particular company where they were some kind of mixed reviews some loved it some didn't like it they say they weren't accurate the reviews that i saw that were bad were for the more unheard of breeds so i think we can conclude that she is those two german shepherd and rottweilers are one of the top two popular breeds and they're pretty comparable as far as them being working groups i can see that the high energy she, she does get it from her german shepherd side i'm kind of shocked but not really because we did kind of have our suspicions but this pretty much answered a lot of our suspicions i would rate this company a four out of five stars mainly because of how long it took the box said that it only takes two weeks but it actually took about a month so yeah there you have it dna my dog if you like videos like this or dog related content go ahead and click subscribe it's that, that little red button down below make sure you gray it out that's how you know you are subscribed to this channel hit that like button really helps out with the reach of this video check the description down below for other information other videos that you may be interested in and i'll see you in the next one bye